Morning, welcome to the aircraft systems for the Embraer family. Today I'm going to show you how to start the airplane with ground power and GPU power. First, before you do anything on the aircraft, make sure you obey all the procedures on your checklist or your menus to start up the APU or uh, the ground power. Uh, a quick run is that you gotta make sure that your switches are on the uh, auto position or on the 12 o'clock position with the exception of the uh, hydraulic system 3 electric pump A that is located on the off position as well as the uh, passenger sign emergency light it should be on the off position um, after re reviewing your uh, checklist um, we can go ahead and turn on your batteries look at it on the overhead panel left hand side one two now the airplane is going to go yeah, through a, a um, built-in uh, test uh, process 21 and uh, information hotel The MFT-1 and the ICAS screen are going to be up, as well as one radio. So now, we have a couple of messages on ICAS. We can now go ahead on our overhead panel select the GPU, the ground power unit which is already connected to the airplane we can just go ahead and press it now the airplane is going to continue doing some internal checks like uh, the IRS for example, the heading now the screens are up in your radios. Let's light this up a little bit. So kind of dark. And it's, that's basically it when you just want to use the ground power. The airplane's got to go through that flight control test. And you can notice it on your left hand side screen. You go to the flight controls. And the airplane is going through a internal test, electrical test, for the uh, flight controls. The whole process takes about three and a half minutes for a complete startup. Another um, check that you gotta go through is make sure your hydraulics um, are up so the temperature is kind of low when you see that you might want to have a warm-up hydraulic warm-up uh, two easy ways just wait until the uh, flight control uh, test finishes if you get a flight control not dispatch or expire just select your pumps to the on position and if that is not helping you with the warm-up move the controls, the flight control, your pedals uh, and to warm it up and quick way to do the warm up as well is just to put the hydraulic PTU switch to the on position and that will warm it up real quick just to show you let's go and do this um, now let's wait until the flight control test finishes While it does that, we can go ahead and do a uh, APU uh, start on your overhead panel. That's your switch, but we're gonna go here to the electrical pitch just to show you what's powering the airplane. See that there is the AC GPU connected to the aircraft feeding the airplane with electrical power. 
Now we're gonna go ahead on the overhead panel on our APU control, put it to on, and you'll see here that the APU is dashed out. Now it shows zero percent. The fade is already online, and on your overhead panel, can you can go ahead and put it on to start. First, you gotta lift the switch and turn it. There is an indent there that you don't wanna damage. Hold it for about three seconds and let it go. On your screen now you see that the uh, APU is running. Now you can see on the ICAS messages that the flight control test is no longer there so that the electrical pivot is already finished. So we're gonna wait until the APU continues to rise and reach 100%. Right here on your electrical page, your APU showed up, and that's gonna take over the GPU right there. You see the transfer? GPU takes over from the ground power unit. Now we're gonna go to our page here, hydraulics, and we're gonna select the hydraulic pumps to on and the temperature is still low like I said you can smooth the columns your pedals and warm up the uh, the hydraulic system or use your PTU that will help you a little faster on your process luckily we did not get a flight control or dispatcher or, or built in Texas fire message on ICAS if you do like I said warm it up reset the airplane power shut it down turn it back on if you still have a flight control not dispatch, do a return to service test, which I'm going to show you on another video. So that's basically it for the uh, startup procedures with the APU and the ground power unit. If you like it, Give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Subscribe and this is RBA and we'll see you on another video.